Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the personal issue I'm having. No, I'm not gonna ask you for money. I'm not gonna ask you for money for my website, for an app, for medical bills. I've handled all the medical bills for my foster pets myself. Although the agency I work with, the foster organization I work with, always wants me to submit invoices, but I feel like the money would be better spent fostering other animals because I can handle it. And I can handle it. I just cannot handle, I guess, emotionally, I can't handle what's going on right now. It's really heartbreaking. And I wouldn't, I would only put this on this channel because I know that a lot of you live in Houston, a lot of you live where I live, and maybe you know someone who can provide more emotional support for this dog. This dog, I'm going to point blank say, it has been abused by its previous owner. I'm not going to pull punches anymore because I thought the previous owner was going to pick the dog up. So I didn't want, you know, I wanted the dog always to belong in the family. If you have a dog, you're committing to it. It's a part of your family member. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't imagine me adopting a dog or me fostering a dog or me adopting a cat or two ferrets. I have two adoptable ferrets right now, if that's also something you're interested in. Although they are a lot easier maintenance to take care of. They just like eating and hiding. So before Hurricane Harvey, I fostered a dog named Snowy. Snowy is my fifth foster dog. I got really into it. And as you guys know, of anime figure collecting and all this stuff and magic cards, when I get into something, I really get into it. And this one has been, you know, emotionally just the hardest. Financially has been very difficult as well. I'm not going to go ahead and lie. Uh, when you foster a dog, heartworms is 800. Roundworms is more. Vet visits are 100 plus, uh, depending on what vaccines and treatment you have to get done on site. So we were able to find an owner via the microchip, and the owner did respond uh, with pictures of the dog so we know that she is the owner and she has recently owned a dog a month has passed since hurricane harvey uh, the owner originally said that she lost her home due to hurricane harvey and she would eventually pick up the dog snowy but you know i think i realize right now that the dog is just abandoned and i need to find a good home for her so fleas are taken care of. Um, I, during the hurricane, obviously I couldn't go outside to get flea medication, so it was a flea infestation pretty much. But I have paid a lot of money to get that taken care of in the home, uh, as well as Norman and the two ferrets. And she has flea collar. I, I think that's all done. Ticks. I don't know if what I saw was a tick or was it like a flea. They move... I guess ticks move like slower, but they still move. And I'm not sure if she has ticks. If she does, then she doesn't have any on her anymore, but it could be in a carpet and could be a reinfection. I, you know, it could be in a carpet. I heard ticks can live a long time in carpet. I ordered roundworm medication. So she does have roundworms, which I have seen myself. And I took her to a vet yesterday because I didn't think I had to take her to the vet due to the fact every time you take a dog to the vet, even if you're fostering, it's a hundred, it depends on what shots needs to be added. And if that's a new vet, and because it is, because it's a foster dog and there's no medical history, then they give you all these Bortella and all these other shots and it can be expensive. The reason I waited was I figured the owner is going to pick her up and the owner can take her to the vet that her documents are right and maybe there was medical complications etc i don't know like it was dumb i should have took her to the vet as soon as the hurricane was over but i don't know i had this belief that oh okay the owner sent me pictures of the dog obviously she's not in the pictures which should have been a red flag but it was the right dog so this is the fifth dog i fostered and i don't have the heart to do it anymore <laughs> I just don't like I don't know how to tell you guys it's like sometimes I'll cry um I feel like crying right now because it's so sad to me like I don't get it right like if you bring a dog to your family it's your dog it's your family you're responsible for the medical bills you are responsible for giving it a good life 
walking it. I walked them an hour and a half. Uh, I normally norm. It's a very long walk from Norman, who's my Australian. Maybe I should show you the dog. I'm going to show you images, and I just have to make this video on the slight chance that someone would be interested in adopting this dog. Um, it just it really breaks my heart, um, and I can't. I just can't deal with it. I I know I. Can't, Financially, if you need help doing it, yes, I will help you financially take care of this dog. Yeah, make sure that she's ready and healthy, and her roundworms is treated, and she doesn't have any fleas or ticks anymore, and she gets a nice uh, clean bill of health. It's I don't I can't explain it. I like you have to foster dogs to understand um, just like how sad it is. When you when you real you the human realize that hey your foster dog is not going to go to her home because her owner is a blanking douchebag and that's it I mean anyway so she does have very fancy taste in toys as you can tell that's a very fancy toy I am going to go ahead and show you some videos of her Instagram you can go on my Instagram to take a look um, actually I don't know who posted that picture I think that was maybe Sophie. Yes, that picture is, that's such a weird picture. I just think she posted a picture there by accident instead of the other websites. So this is the dogs. No tasty snack until you go to the bathroom. Both of you. Bathroom, Norman. I know you need to go to the bathroom. I'm also horrified. So that was 4 a.m. Uh, when it was flooding. I guess this is a picture of, this is a video of the dog itself. So, I mean, there's a lot of images of Snowy, and this is when I first got her, um, and then this is, you know, when I got her last. So I got her right before the hurricanes, and I'm really trying my best to find a good home for her. Uh, it just makes me sad. Uh, it does make me very sad because um, I think I'm going to take a break from fostering dogs, so I want to adopt Snowy out as soon as I can because I need a break. Uh, I just need a break. And the two ferrets, the ferrets are very low. I don't, they're not super low maintenance because they go to bathroom all the time, but uh, I, I don't know if I can find a home from them that quick. I don't need to find a home from them that quickly because they're not as, I don't dedicate as much time, effort, and just love to, I mean, it sounds wrong, but like, obviously I love my dogs more uh, than my ferrets. Uh, and that's just me personally. Maybe you have ferrets and you love your ferrets more than dogs, but I don't know, I, I grow really attached to dogs. Uh, so I might not be the best foster parent for dogs uh, just because I, I just have too much attachment to them. And it's, you know, it's a good feeling when you can, Lily, which was my previous dog, I found her family after posting and paying my own money for social media posts. So I do social media and Sophie actually does social media. And I said, okay, let's just use the skill set that we develop to find her a home. And then in doing so, we found her the original home uh, with four kids and that was good. It just, it really breaks my heart. I will have the link to the Facebook description uh, so you can read more. And it is, she is located in Houston. I would love, 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 love to find a fam home. So her warm heart, not heart warm, her round warm treatment is coming Wednesday from Amazon, but the human treatment, which is for me, is coming Tuesday, and I'm gonna give her some human treatment too. Um, so by Saturday she should be adoptable because round worms, are, I, from what I've been told, can be treated quite easily. Uh, she no longer has any fleas or ticks that I can see, and I've obviously looked her over the whole t a lot of times. And I think she will find a very good home. Um, I will, can recommend a vet that you can get a checkup on. It's, um, I don't know what it is. It's the fact that when an owner just abandons an animal, the animal doesn't know that. The animal didn't choose the owner. The owner chose the animal. So it's, it makes me sick. And I, I just can't take it. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Not this year. Maybe in 2018, I'll be a better person. Uh, but five dogs is a lot. And each dog 
one of the dogs I had passed away from heartworms. And um, she actually passed away while on treatment because the treatment loosens the heartworms. And the whole danger of the heartworms is they get like blockage, right? So, but the treatment, the treatment loosens the heartworms and also can create blockage. So I don't know. I'm not going to complain, but I don't think that was explained to me clearly what the risk was. Uh, it was explained to me that there was a risk that the treatment would loosen the heartworms and the heartworms would get into the arteries or something and then they would, it would, the dog could die. But I either wasn't paying attention or I don't remember that part of it, right? So I was shocked when the dog actually did die. Uh, it was one of the dogs I was fostering. A lot of these foster dogs, they don't have homes, they don't have families. And I accepted this foster dog if I was told this foster dog did not have a home, that the home cared about her and was in touch, I wouldn't have adopted her. I wouldn't have fostered her because it's just heartbreak after heartbreak. I thought she had a home. It's clear to me her owners have abandoned her and I need to find her a good home. So I wasn't clear, like the other four dogs I had, I knew they were out in the wild for a long time. I knew that they were poorly maintained. I, I guess that would be the way to say it. And they were out, they had fleas. I knew they had issues. I knew the challenge with finding them a good home. And luckily the last dog, Lily, I found her the exact home that she wanted to be in. And that was great. But this one, I assumed that after the hurricane, the owner would pick her up but we are a month pretty much a month removed almost and um it's clear to me the owner is not responsive and not going to help so i need you guys to help me um this is more valuable to me than building a website or an app with your money or any of that or pico points or uh, i've seen a lot of uh, things and I just want you to share the post. I'll have the link in the description below. I want you to share the post and see if you have any friends that can really help this dog. I'm just not emotionally equipped right now. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous when I say it, but unless you have adopted, fostered as many dogs and you know have experienced a dog dying uh, um, that you fostered, have experienced like just neglect, neglect, abuse of do dogs that have been abused, that you have to really love and you really have to take care of and you have to put so much time and effort and it's it's just it's heartbreaking um i wish i was strong enough to do it all over again a fifth time but i, I don't think i can i think this is as far as i can take her anyway that is it bye guys